Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at uh, Sheikh Hamad Palace yesterday evening in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, a group of businessmen and chairmen and members of chambers of commerce and industry in the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty the King welcomed them, underlining their contributions for the commercial sector in Bahrain. His Majesty also underlined the great efforts of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, noting stances of Saudi Arabia, UAE and Kuwait in the development of Bahrain. His Majesty underlined the need to maintain unity of the country and honest competition among Bahrain people to continue the process of development. His Majesty the King has stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will spare no efforts to continue to move towards a comprehensive development process in which the factors and fundamentals that support the continuation of positive economic growth and diversification of the economy will be provided to achieve more sustainable development and progress for the homeland and all its citizens. His Majesty expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister for their efforts in continuing the pace of achievement and gains through further development of the system of government work to achieve the goals. His Majesty the King also thanked the brotherly leaders of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Kuwait for their support for enhancing the stability of public finances in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which underlines the integration and cohesion and the deep-rooted historic relations binding Bahrain with the sisterly countries and the keenness to consolidate these fraternal relations emanating from the belief in the unity of common destiny among them. His Majesty noted their contributions to the commercial sector in Bahrain, thus contributing to the establishment of the private sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain as a key partner in advancing the development tracks. His Majesty said uh, that work is continuing to strengthen the fertile environment in support of growth and development, emphasis on the strength of Bahrain's national economy. His Majesty the King stressed that the cooperation and joint action would turn the challenges into promising opportunities. His Majesty expressed his confidence that the uh, commercial sector will play a major role through coordination of efforts with various government agencies. His Majesty pointed out that Bahrain's position has enabled it to open up to the commercial movement with the world since ancient times. His Majesty expressed his pride for the Bahrainis who have presented honorable models of hard work and creative spirit, which have become models for the young generations in the various promising economic sectors and challenge for achievement and progress. His Majesty the King delivered a speech on the occasion.
احنا اليوم نرحب بكم في محلكم هذا محل الجميع نرحب رؤساء الغرفة السابقين واللاحقين والتجار ورجال الأعمال اللي أسسوا في هذا البلد أقوى وأصلب تأسيس بفكر متزن محافظ واليوم الكل يشوف أن العالم متحرك حركة سريعة جدا ويشوف التنافس الكبير والأرقام الكبيرة والبحرين إن شاء الله بجهود الجميع ما بتتأخر عن هالركب ركب البناء والازدهار والتنمية الحقيقة بجهود كبيرة من العام سمو رئيس الوزراء وسمو ولي العهد والحكومة ومنكم والسمعة اللي يسمعها العالم حققنا التزام من قبل أشقائنا وأشقائكم في الخليج أن الاقتصاد واحد والنهضة يجب تكون وحدة وأن لا يتخلف أحدنا عن أحد وطبعا من حسن الحظ أن في هالفترة دي تمكننا من اكتشافات جديدة في الطاقة ولكن إلى أن هالاكتشافات الجديدة تحقق النتائج المرجوة من استخراج انتاج واستخراج وبيع وتكرير وكل هذا الامر يتطلب وقت فالتزام الاخوان زي في وقته انه بالفعل يمشي الامور بحيث انه ما يتوقف شيء عندنا ونمشي في خططنا سواء في ما يسمى بالبنية التحتية أو في حتى المشاريع اللي فوق البنية التحتية والحكومة الموقرة لما تخصص جل اهتمامها وميزانياتها لخدمات البنية التحتية ولخدمات المشاريع فهي تخدم المواطن أساس يحصل على السكن اللائق وتخدم رجل الأعمال على أساس يحصل على المشاريع المناسبة والناس تشتغل وتصير حركة طيبة في البلد كما هو اليوم وإحنا اليوم مطمئنين على استغرار الأسواق استغرار العملة أقول هالكلمة لأن الواحد لما يسمع الأخبار يشوف فيه اضطرابات في الأسواق إن كان في أوروبا أو كان في مناطق أخرى متقدمة ولكن لله الحمد إحنا في الخليج كأخوة متكاتفين حافظنا على مستوى طيب ونمو طيب إن كان نمونا الاقتصادي أو نمونا الحضاري بالتعليم وغير التعليم فطبعا أنا حبيت الليلة أشوفكم في الواقع لأن ما شفناكم من مدة وثاني شيء نخبركم بأن الأخبار طيبة كلها سواء فيما يتعلق بالمسيرة أو فيما يتعلق بالاقتصاد أو ما يتعلق بالانتخابات فالدنيا ماشي ويكفي أن أي عاقل يشوف بلاده واللي يحدث 
واشقائه القريبين واللي يقومون به من اعمال خير البلد مفتوح والناس على اتصال ولا حد يمنع من سفر ولا حد يمنع من حركه ولا مؤتمر فيمكن هذا بعد هي قوتنا على ضوء ذلك الواحد كل اللي تامله ان احنا بالفعل من بعد شكر رب العالمين ان نحافظ قد ما نقدر على وحدتنا واتحادنا تكاتفنا والمنافسة الشريفة فأهل البحرين عرفوها من سنين وحتى أنا يعني عندي قصص كثيرة سمعتها من أيام تجارة اللولو وأي نوع من التجارة يعني ما يرضون حتى المنافس إنه مثل ما يقولون ينكسر إذا انكسر سلفوه قالوا له انهض ونافسنا مرة ثانية يزعلون وهذا يعني الحقيقة من القيم العظيمة في مجتمع البحرين لكن طبعا اليوم تدخل علينا عادات وقيم من بعيد والله ما عرفناها من قبل إذا نقدر وتقدرون أنكم تحمون الأبناء والبنات والأسر منها ونحافظ على ما احنا عليه فهذا بيكون أحسن شيء نقدر نسويه ونقدمه لأجيالنا إن شاء الله القادمة يعني احنا كلنا فخر بقيمنا ما أعتقد عندنا شيء محرج عندنا كل الزين وسمعة أهل البحرين معروفة وهذا هو الدليل الكبير أي واحد منكم يلتقي بأي شخص في الخارج من آخر الدنيا اللي يسأله وقال له من وين وقال له أنا من البحرين ابتسم وقال له تفضل ويا لس وسولف وياه فهذه من القيم اللي الحمد لله أني أنا شخصيا شفتها من الصغر وانتم شفتوها ولازم نحافظ عليه على كل حال هذا سر النجاح أنا الليلة حبيت أكرر يعني الشكر من بعد الله للعام من رئيس الوزراء ولولي العهد وما قصروا ليل نهار عمل عمل متواصل لخدمة هالمجتمع وهالشعب الكريم فمشكورين وما قصرتوا His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 34 and 35 of 2018, restructuring the Miners' Estate Fund Council and their equivalents and amending Article 2 of Edict 2 of 2015 regarding occupational safety and health. Edict 34 of 2018 stipulated the restructuring of the Miners' Estate Fund Council under the chairmanship of the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and member of the following. Rida Abdullah Faraj, Jasim Ahmed Al Mahza, Engineer Ibrahim Hassan Al Hawaj, Abdul Jalil Ali Ahmed Al Haiki, Engineer Manaf Yusuf Hamza, Muhammad Sheikh Ahmed Al Asfur, Engineer Naji Sept Salim Sept, Ali Hassan Al Nasser Al Khazali. The duration of their term will be two years renewable. This edict becomes effective from the next day following the date of its publication in the official gazette. And Edict 35 of 2018 stipulated the replacement of Article 2 of Edict 2 of 2015 regarding occupational health and safety as follows. The Occupational Health and Safety Council is formed under the chairmanship of the Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil bin Muhammad Ali Hamedan and the membership of the following. Dr. Muhammad Ali Al Ansari, Assistant Under Secretary for Labor Affairs at the Ministry of Labor and Social Development as Deputy Chairman. Dr. Abdul Basit Muhammad Abdul Mahsin, Legal Advisor, Labor and Social Development Ministry as a member. Mustafa Aguil Sheikh, Head of Occupational Safety Section, Labor and Social Development Ministry as a member. 
Hassan Yusuf Ali Ahmed, Occupational Safety Advisor, Director of Employee Performance and Relations, Civil Service Bureau as a member. Colonel Hamad Ali Al Kabi, Director of Protection of Protection Safety Directorate, Civil Defense General Department, Interior Ministry as a member. Dr. Maha Saleh Al Shihab, Secretary of Bahrain Health and Safety Society as a member. Ahmed Khalid Ibrahim, Director of Health, Safety and Environment, Bahrain Petroleum Comp Company, Babco as a member. Engineer Yasser Abdurrahim Al Abbasi, Manufacturing General Manager, Gulf Petrochemicals Company, JEPIC as a member. Jamil Youssef Al Ghanat, as more member of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry as a member. Mohammed Khalid Al Said, Senior Manager of Health, Safety, Environment, Security and Fire, Bahrain Aluminum Company, Alba as a member. Mohammed Hassan Al Masad, Assistant Secretary General for Occupational Health and Safety, Bahrain Workers General, Trade Unions Federation as a member. Dr. Yusuf Ahmed Al Haddad, Medical Consultant and Acting Chairman of Occupational Health Group, Ministry of Health as a member. Mohammed Rasul Bakhsh, Deputy Chairman, Occupational Health and Safety Association, Bahrain Free Labor Unions Federation, Al Hur, as a member. Dr. Mohammed Abdul Razak Al Siddiqui, Director of Technical and Vocational Education Directorate, Ministry of Education, as a member. Mahmoud Ahmed Abdul Rahim, Director for Works Affairs in the Human Resources Directorate, Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, as a member. Engineer Lama Abbas Mahrouz, Acting Director of Assessment and Monitoring the Environment, Supreme Council for Environment, as a member. Engineer Imad Abdul Wahid Al Rayil, Technical Affairs Advisor, Ministry of Housing, as a member. The Deputy Chairman replaces the Chairman in assuming all of his jurisdictions in the event of his absence or inability. This edict becomes effective from the next day following the date of its publication in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday held his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura and Council of Representatives, members of Municipal Councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at his weekly majlis which demonstrate Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa's aspirations to maintain a strong bond among Bahrain society. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived at the Chechnya capital at the invitation of the President of Chechnya, Ramzan Ahmadovich Kadyrov, to attend the Republic celebration on the occasion of the 200th anniversary of the establishment of Grozny City. His Highness Sheikh Khalid was received by the President Kadyrov, the Prime Minister officials, and the Bahrain Ambassador to Russia, Ahmed Abdurrahman Al Saati. An official reception ceremony was held for His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which were followed by friendly talks between His Highness and the President of Chechnya, where His Highness conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the President of Chechnya and His Majesty's wishes of advancement and development to Chechnya. His Highness Sheikh Khalid stated that Bahrain is keen on bolstering bilateral relations evident through the support of His Majesty the King. His Highness hailed the role of the Chechnyan President in his country's development and progress and his keenness to bolster relations between between Chechnya and Bahrain in various fields. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in the Bahraini Chechnyan relationships and expressed keenness to further develop them to serve the interests of both countries in all fields. He hailed the visit of the Chechnyan president to Bahrain, in which he met with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which contributed to strengthening bilateral relations. His Highness expressed his sincere wishes of success to Chechnyan president in leading his country, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect the Republic. This came as the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Secretary of State of the United States of America, Mike Pompeo, in the U.S. Department of State headquarters in Washington, D.C. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to further enhance the historic relations and strategic alliance and partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States in all political, economic, military and other fields to achieve the common interests of both friendly countries and their people. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's appreciation for the initiatives of the President of the United States of America, Donald Trump, most important of which are combating terrorism and countering the Iranian regime's threats. He added that such initiatives reflect the U.S. realization of the sources of danger in the region and its desire to cooperate closely with the countries of the region to face such threats and ultimately achieve peace and security. The minister stated that among the most important pillars of relations between the two countries are their economic cooperation and trade ties, which continue developing for the benefit of both countries and people following the implementation of the Free Trade Agreement, which was signed in 2006 and due to the great potential available, or potentials available in both countries. For his part, the U.S. Secretary of State highlighted the development of bilateral relations at all levels, noting the keenness of the United States to coordinate with Bahrain on all issues of mutual concern. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his U.S. counterpart exchanged points of view on all issues and developments of interest to the two countries. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which came during His Majesty's speech in Bahrain First Festival on February 28, 2018, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, announced the launch of the first edition of the Excellent Teacher Award. The Minister hailed with appreciation His Majesty's directive, which affirms the support the Education March receives from His Majesty the King in appreciation for its role in the Comprehensive Development March. The Minister asserted that the award aims to develop the level of education and its outcome as well as to encourage competitiveness to achieve optimal educational practices. He noted that the award targets all employees in the Ministry of Education and in government and private schools to develop the educational work system and improve its outcomes. The King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence held a gala dinner to conclude their week-long exhibition at the United Nations headquarters in New York during the 73rd General Assembly. More on this report with Shogam Hamad. A ceremony was held in New York to showcase Bahrain's long-standing history of peaceful coexistence and religious freedom. The King Hamad Global Center held the event in cooperation with This is Bahrain, marking the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration. The event was attended by diplomats, UN officials and religious representatives. It is uh, an absolute indication that the center is starting to play its role in the international promotion of peaceful coexistence and presenting Bahrain as a model uh, to the international community. We have seen that the presentation of the Bahrain Declaration that uh, stipulates the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the international community with regards to peaceful coexistence uh, and religious tolerance in Bahrain. 
Uh, this is a shining model in the Middle East, and we have seen the support by different communities uh, here in New York, and we are very glad to see the momentum, the international momentum of the uh, King Hamad Center. This has been a wonderful closure of a very uh, interesting week, eh? the high-level week of the United Nations uh, General Assembly and the topic of uh, interfaith uh, dialogue and reconciliation is, is very important. So uh, congratulations to your king, to uh, your people for addressing this very important issue. The guests at the event lauded His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision of peaceful coexistence and interfaith dialogue and praised the Kingdom of Bahrain for being a pioneer in this regard. I want to salute uh, the King, His Majesty um, uh, King Hamad, because this kind of leadership shows that there are more things, more things that are more important than just power. Uh, it, it's, it's about love and spreading the message of unity and this brings peace to the community and to the region. Uh, themes of tolerance and peace uh, for the Baha'is are central uh, principles uh, of the Baha'i faith. So to see that the King Hamid Center is essentially uh, uh, promoting those uh, principles and ideals is completely in parallel with the uh, principles of the uh, Baha'i faith. They have a very good vision which uh, is nice to, to uh, bring the country in the right direction which uh, Bahrain is doing. That's a very good vision. And I think a lot of uh, other countries should learn from them. Before I just hear about Bahrain, but was don't know anything more than that. But today, here I learn more about Bahrain and, and what uh, King is doing, especially for the world peace and coexistence. So uh, it is a very good step. Uh, forward for the uh, world peace. I am so excited to finally find a leader who believe in God, who believe in freedom, who believe in peace and is taking the action necessary to bring manifestation into his kingdom and try to spread the word where everyone can come together, not only as leaders but as communities, as nation. We have a church in Bahrain also that is called St. Mary's Indian Orthodox Church. And that church is celebrating its Diamond Jubilee in October. We are very grateful to the Kingdom of uh, Bahrain and to the King for giving us the land to build the church and letting us have a great time in Bahrain. Initiative started by King Hamad for peaceful coexistence of the religions. I hope that it might spread larger into a more big circle in the world in, at large so that all over the world people will take such a process. I think uh, the message that the King is sending, it's very loud and clear and uh, it makes a lot of sense and it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, venue where they have brought everyone, all of us together uh, in this place in New York and we met a lot of people from different faith and ultimately the core belief when we go to sea, it's, it's the same, it's peace, that's what everybody wants. The diverse crowd described Bahrain's approach as a model to emulate, stressing the importance of promoting it in the Middle East and other parts of the world, so as to put an end to conflicts resulting from bigotry and extremism. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.